Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi. So I'm setting up on as usual on my. If you're new to this uh, webinar, I'm setting up at the YouTube, and then we'll set up on the Facebook. So. Give me one moment while I set up. Okay. The thing is, I need to go live, you know, to get the, the feed. Oh, sorry, the link. YouTube live. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just give me one moment, yeah. Okay, so I saw 12 people over at YouTube already. So let me go live on Facebook straight away. Okay, we are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. Nice. Okay, so we are three minutes away um, from 8 p.m. Those of you who are already here, thank you for joining me tonight. If you can, please uh, appreciate your help to help me share out these trainings to uh, more people, share on your wall, you know, share on your wall, share on those uh, groups that, you know, people are interested to uh, learn about trading with technical analysis. Tonight's training is very different from the last, uh, last month, April, okay? Tonight, we are going to talk about breakout stocks. How do we find them? Okay, what are the characteristics and how okay, can we configure the expert trader to find them? Now, tonight, I have invited a lot of people to join me. Okay, so we have got uh, non-members. We have got members in Singapore Traders Club, members in Malaysia Traders Club. Now, those are members, okay, with active subscriber or expert user. The thing is, in your subscription, expert trader comes with it. Okay, expert trader comes with it. So, um, while I have not been talking a lot about uh, expert trader, it is because um, your software comes with the training. So, I have already composed pre-existing strategies, rules. Hi, hi, Kelvin. Hi, uh, Wai Hong. Okay, um, because I have already composed and pre define the strategies inside uh, ESP master. So that really help you save time. So you don't have to come and compose the rules by yourself and all that. But indeed, Expert Trader is uh, what we started with ChatNexus about since 2005, 2006. Okay, so it is old, but it is still gold. Okay, later when I show you the feature, how to find stocks, you'll find that, wow, actually it's very powerful if you know how to use it. Okay, especially those of you who know uh, technical analysis, okay, it can help you filter out stocks that you like. Okay, like uh, let me show you some. Let me show you some of the rules that I have configured inside my expert trader over here. Okay, so you can see our strategy. Uh, pull back, pull back. Where are you? There. Okay. Wow, oh, I can't see inside. Okay, I can't see inside. So these are all strategy created just for traders club. Okay, so uh, you don't have to do this by yourself. But outside of this strategy, actually, expert trader can do a lot more things. Okay, a lot more things. Hi, Marion. Wow, I saw Marion joining us tonight. Wow, 93 people on uh, Facebook Live already. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for sharing. Okay, so if you if you have not shared, help me share this to uh, more groups, more uh, your wall. Okay, your Facebook wall, more people to join us. Okay, I have got 100 people already. Wow. 8 p.m. sharp, 100 people already uh, online. So I shall start immediately. No need to wait anymore. Okay. So for, for those of you who are listening to me loud and clear and can see the video very clearly, okay, please uh, type something or give a thumbs up so that I know that the video and the voice is doing well, going on well. Okay. I saw a lot of uh, likes over at uh, Facebook. So it's going well. YouTube, YouTube, 30 of you at YouTube. 
Okay, I saw only four likes uh, and no response at all. Okay, YouTube is about 20 second delay. Okay, so I, I can expect that. Now, um, I also want you as a warm up uh, to tell me which country are you from? Which country are you from? If you are Singapore, type Singapore, Malaysia, type Malaysia, uh, Indonesia, Indonesia, India, India. Okay, type under the comment and let me have a, have a few. Hi, hi, Wilbert. Okay. Let me know which country are you from? I see most of you are, are from which country? Thanks, Fauzi, over at uh, YouTube. From which country are you from? Singapore, I've got Melvin from Singapore. Okay, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia. Okay, so far only one from Singapore, two from Malaysia, three from Malaysia, four from Malaysia, Malaysia Bole. Brandon, Malaysia Bole, Malaysia. Huh? The rest of you, 100 over of you. Eh, eh. Okay, mostly from Malaysia. Huh? Okay, mostly from Malaysia. All right, so since uh, most of you are from Malaysia, and I shall use the Malaysia stocks in the screening. Okay, I shall use the Malaysia stock in screening and we'll mix it with some Singapore stocks as well. Okay, Singapore stocks as well. Wow, Singapore Traders Club. Epson, uh, uh, I found one. Blue Smurf, Blue Smurf at YouTube. Okay, what about Facebook? Bo Singapore lang ah. Lika Chi Kai ah, sure not. Play, play fool, you very play fool. <laughs> Hey, Any more Singapore, Adeline, Singapore. Okay, maybe Singapore. Okay, Singapore mostly over at uh at YouTube. Huh? Okay, wow, most of you are from Malaysia. Okay, so let's start. Now uh everybody will have this software called Chart Nexus Charting Software. Now this software is free for download. And uh if you are a member, you will know now. Also, I speak more to the non-member. So this is available to download for free, and you can choose the end of day data. Okay, which stock exchange are you going to uh, trade? I'm going to screen the stocks for. So I, tonight, I am looking at Singapore and KL. I don't see any Indonesian. Hi, Laihi. I don't see any Indonesian. So I will not talk about Indonesia stocks. Okay, perhaps because of the difference in the time zone. I'm going to do another separate one for Jakarta folks. Okay, I used to be active there. I used to go there every, every month. Okay, so Jakarta, so let's start. Okay, so this is the data, you should download first, okay? Now, uh, those of you who just joined, uh, especially Traders Club member, do not be stunned. Okay, this software is something that you have, okay? Just that we are using the web ESD master. So all the strategy already predefined for you. So you do not see this. Today, I'm going to show you, actually you have this subscription as well and how can you maximize the use of this, right? So under the software, under advanced tab, if you go and click on expert trader, pop, it will come up, okay? Now, if you click on fundamental data info, boom, it will come out, okay? So any stock, for example, we talk about FP group, uh, or FP group, just search here, FP group, point, the FA data, everything is here. Now, this is different from Diva Health Chat, we got color codes. This one, you need to know what to look out for. Now, two things uh, that uh, you want to focus on uh, if you are new to fundamental information. Those of you who are old birds, uh, Lao Jia already, you know what to look for, okay? So you can easily uh, look for the parameters, the, the values that you want to look at, okay? For basics, uh, for basic those of you who do not know, at least the company must make money, right? So you look for earnings per share. Okay, should be found in the income statement. Fundamental information from each listed company, they are reporting broke up into three reports, mainly income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow. Okay, so if you talk about earnings per share, should be under income statement. Hey, oh, ah. I don't know, is that cash flow? Earnings per share, earnings per share, earnings per share, EPS. Ah, there you go. Oh, it's under metrics. They pack it under metrics. Ah, earnings per share. Okay, now, earnings per share is important to see a positive number. Positive number means the company is making money. Simple, right? If you see negative number, it means the company is losing money. Okay, so if you want to invest in the stock market, then, uh, hey, uh, why mean? Don't worry. Later, we do business. Now, we learn first, okay? We learn first, okay? So, 
Bracketing number means no good. So you see 2016 to 2019, uh, this is the annual report. Uh, we are working on the quarterly and trailing 12 months uh, the version. Okay, it should be out in May. La. I'll just look up for it. Okay, so this is 216. You can see that uh, it makes 36 cents, uh, 36 cents. Uh, yeah, 36 cents. You know, 36 cents. If how do I say this in English? I say 3.6 3 cents. Uh, 3.6 cents, 2 cents. Okay, so you can see the thing is trending up, making more and more money, or at least consistent for this company, F3. So you know that, okay, this company is not losing money, right? So you know how uh, much is the debt. You want to see a company too high debt, right? Then you go to the balance sheet and then you look for the debt, total debt. Wow, this company, no debt, no, no debt, no debt. Or oh, no debt. So if you want to train to, to, to invest a company before you want to buy it, you check the fundamental first. Okay, so this is uh, part of the software, right? So expert trader, come. Now tonight we are going to talk about breakout stocks, okay? I have prepared three topics, but I'm not going to speak everything tonight before information overload. So what I have will be uh, breakout, okay? And then I will have trending, okay? And candlestick. So should be in the month of May, you will see more topics of this and how to use this stock screener to find out the stocks, okay? So now I have configured two strategy for us to practice today. The first one is called price break 20 day MA. 20 day uh, high, price break 20 day high. Now over here, okay? So I've got two criteria here. So how do I do it? Okay, let me just screen out the stock to give you a flavor of what we are looking at. I'm, I'm screening the period between 1st of April to 20th of April. Okay, uh, this is Singapore market. Let me go and screen the KL first because most of you are, are Malaysia here, from Malaysia here. So you'll be interested in the local BOSA first, right? And configure, very important. Uh, I'm looking at stocks minimum price 20 cents to 10,000. Okay, that means basically any stock that's above 20 cents. Transaction volume, 1 million average over 50 days okay so that i get out i get rid of all the stocks that is uh, low liquidity so after i screen right you can click this button minimize then you can see that it nicely comes to the left hand side freeing up my space over here so uh, avanta la avanta is the covid 19 play ma, or covid 19 play now where i want you to focus on uh, is on this day itself okay now this uh, breaking of 20 day high is a very famous strategy used by Davos. Okay, it's called Davos box. The strategy is called Davos box. 20 day high and 50 day high. So now what we're looking at is 20 day high. So this strategy basically, if the stock keep breaking is 20 day high. So example, if we are right here, if we are right here, okay, you count back candle, here is T, T minus 1, T minus 2, T minus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this 20 day, where is the high? So if the high is here, then the software will look up for this point. And then once it break upwards, it will inform you that this stock Avanta has broken the 20 day high. But if you broke the 20 day high, just like resistance, okay, resistance breakout strategy, you need to see volume, trading volume. You want to see very high trading volume because with uh, high trading volume, it means that the commitment of the in traders and investors is serious. A lot of money is committed into the movement upwards, therefore likely to continue. Okay, so you do not want a breakout that comes with low volume. Low volume, that means the money involved is very low. Now, what do I mean by money involved? Okay, this is the, the basic. Okay, so you see this, Candle over here from 48 cents. This is the price skew from 48 cents goes up all the way to 51 cents. Okay, three cents movement. Now, if you see very, very high volume coming to the store, it means that, that the volume, transition volume, this red and green bar. Okay, this is the volume. Multiply by the number you see on the right hand side is the absolute amount of money committed into this movement. So the more you see, the more money into the stock. So unlikely the stock will fail, okay? The breakout will happen. So this is basically what we are looking for, okay? Now, let me show you how to compose this rule, okay? Uh, this is under general. So under general, in expert trader, we've got general, we've got the indicators, uh, late, uh, 
uh, indicators more for moving average and, and MACD, all this. Uh, maybe later I'll talk about how do we mix up, uh, how do we mix the indicator with the general rules and then the candlestick. Wow, this one uh, is very, very powerful. Okay, very, very powerful. It's just that nobody, nobody saw this tool. You, know. you can actually draw your own candle. Okay, those of you who know technical analysis, you can actually draw your own pattern that you want over here. Okay, and you can set. You want the height of candle one to be lower or higher than the height of candle two and so on and so forth. Your own pattern that you like. You can actually create them here. Okay, I've got YouTube videos. Uh. Okay, let me show you the YouTube videos. I've got YouTube videos on how to use this Okay, how to uh, use this candlestick editor. Let me just show you where to fetch the video. Okay, most of you who are here tonight, I, I believe uh, Chart Nexus uh, Traders Club member. Lah. Now, those are no member, of course I welcome you. Lah. Oh, of course I welcome you. Uh, eh? How come my YouTube look very funny tonight? I, I don't have my left hand side. <laughs> okay, let me search. I'm on my other screen, okay? I'm on my, 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 my other screen. So I've got three screen running uh, in my system. Okay, right here. Okay, right here. Okay, this is our Chart Nexus YouTube channel. Okay, so you can come down to this expert trader, expert trader playlist, playlist, expert trader tutorial, all right, right here. Okay, inside I've created some uh, videos to learn how to use Expert Trader and uh, I will continue to create because lockdown at home. Uh, usually I fly around Malaysia to conduct events. Uh, nowadays all do online. The time saved on flying used to do video. Uh, okay, so it's very uh, beneficial for everybody. But I myself love this tool a lot. Very, very powerful. You can find a lot of trading ideas. So this is the how to use Expert Trader Candlestick Editor to create a hammer pattern. Okay, so if you are uh, new to trading, new to technical analysis, you may not know what the hell am I talking about, but this one is mostly for um, people who already know technical analysis. Those of you who are new, okay, now might just stay on. Okay, you will learn a bits and pieces here and there. Uh, you should be joining the one, in, maybe tomorrow evening I'll conduct one for TA, how to how to read the chart, okay, but not tonight. Tonight is for, for screening trading ideas, okay. So this is all the tutorial you can find under our Chart Nexus uh, YouTube channel, okay. So very a lot of uh, a lot of information there. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Those of you who never join right to tomorrow visa day holiday man. So you, you may want to spend some time to learn. Then you can come and watch all this video lah. Eh? Those that you never join, thirtieth of April, okay. And then you have got the and, and you know, so all this live training, right? It's still there. Okay, so you can go there and build and learn how to read charts. Right, so let's continue. So now what we are looking for firstly is the breakout. Okay, price breakout. So where do I find them? Uh, let me reset the rule. Okay, right here under general. You go to general over here. Price breakout bullish. Okay, you've got a lot of options. Okay, feel free to play around, but tonight I just want to show you in general how to recreate this rule. Price breakup bullish. Now you got add la, all left, up, down, left, right, center, all this. Okay, so firstly you select and then you add price breakout. Now I want to break out 20 day high, ma, right? So 20 is correct. Then I have want to use close and not use intraday. Now what's the difference between close and intraday? Intraday means uh you factor in the shadow, la, the shadow, or the long upper tail over here. You use close, that means it will only seek reference from the closing price. Okay, which closing price is the highest in 20 day, then uh, it will use that as the break breakout point. If you use intraday, then you are looking at the highest point, okay, uh, according to the shadow. So I usually use close better. Then must make sure you hit the keyboard enter no. Okay, so daily chart. Now we can also screen on weekly, monthly chart. No, so, but tonight I'm screening on daily chart. Okay, daily chart. Completed pattern can be progressive, can be completed. Now, when to use progressive? Progressive is like uh, if you are screening on weekly chart, uh, the weekly candle for this week, okay, as you can see, today is only Wednesday. Ma. So the closing uh, candle, the candle will be, will be fully formed by Friday's closing. So when you use progressive, you usually screen for the weekly chart. Then it will screen this week candle like on Wednesday. Does it look like a hammer? 
on if by Wednesday you don't have a hammer, right? Then you think that it is going to close as a hammer, then you can buy earlier. Lo. Oh, so this is how I usually use it last time. So completed. Okay, so first rule created successfully. Now I need trading volume. Remember, I want to see high volume breakout. So general, I look for volume increase. Okay, volume increase. Before you can edit anything, uh, you need to make sure you click on volume increase and then you add them into the oops, you add them into the rule over here. Then you have got two already. Lo. Okay, volume increase. Now volume increase um 20 day. 20 day basically is 20 trading day. That means it's a month, uh, one month of data. So during this last 20 day, if the trading volume okay of today is bigger or equal to 50% of the average of these 20 days. Uh, that means wow, today volume very high. Lo. Okay, then I stay with daily, stay with completed. And then I can save it already, ma. Oh, save it already. But uh, you can type anything to save, lah. But I'm not going to save because I already have the rule right here. Okay, right here. So I'm going to screen and show you. So just now, uh, you set everything right already, right? We screen. Okay, hit minimize. It come to the left. Uh, Avanta, lo. We continue the story on Avanta, and then we go down the list. Now, Avanta, you can see the first green arrow is right here. So this is telling you, expert trader on this night, uh, which is 22nd of April, is telling you that on this night, okay, if you screen with the expert trader, you will be able to see this signal because it broke the 20-day high of this point. Okay, 20-day of this point. Volume is higher than the average of the 20 days. Okay, 20 days. So it means that, oh, it is right. Okay, it is right. Then you see how it continue to go higher, lo. oh, because if high volume comes in, then wow, hallelujah, make money. Right, so this is how you find stocks. Okay, now the other one, let's see Air Asia. La. Air Asia. Uh, Air Asia got break or not? Got on this night. This is which date? This is the uh, 20th of April. This is the date, uh, 20th of April. Now, Air Asia. Okay, so this is the high. Okay, 20 day high, all right, here at this point. Okay, why this point and not this point? Eh? Very simple, uh, because I'm using closing price. Ma. White candle closing price is, is right here. Black color closing, black candle closing price is here. So this is the highest point. So we are looking for this point to break and the software broke. Bang! Alert to you. Then next day, you can consider whether you want to buy or not. Okay, then you can consider whether to trade this breakout or not. All right. Uh, in this case, uh, it's coming down. Uh, confirm you don't want to trade, uh, right? High volume come down some more. Also, you probably want to avoid trading uh, Air Asia. Okay, so this is how you use the 20 day high. Let me see, got any more uh, obvious interesting stock? K plus, uh, all this COVID play are uh, all going up, breaking resistance nicely. Okay, so the first time it has high volume breakout right here. Reference point is here. So over the last 20 days, this is the highest point. So software alert to you, a care plus broke this uh, highest point of over 20 days. So the volume is 50% more than the average. Okay, more than the average money coming into the stock. Okay, so, oh, but here oh, it's very near the resistance. Ma. Very near the resistance. So you may wonder, oh, yeah, tomorrow want to buy or not? Very near resistance. Eh? But if you do not know how to see resistance, Okay, very simple. Click this button. Click this button. Okay, one more time. Click this button. Oh yeah, sorry. This one can only see the latest action over here. So the past arrow, it will not be able to plot for you. Okay, it will not be able to plot for you. Never remember. Later, another rule will plot. So this one, you just stay with it. Okay, so it will tell you that, oh, this is the breakout point. No? Oh, this is how you use. Now, if you think that, wow, this is very long, oh, okay, very long. Then some of them go up, some of them never go up. Then how, le, how, le, right? So it means you need to tighten the rule. Oh. How to tighten the rule? Very simple. You come here. Now, volume increase 50%. Uh, you put 100. You will see lesser stock coming in. Okay, now, so you got 134. So you start screening. 102 over this last two weeks. Okay, over this last two weeks. Kunang, logistic play. 
Okay, this is the 20 day higher, so it continues to go higher, right? And let's see anything else over here. Each hey, Jetasa today went up a lot, uh. oh, but this is the uh, 23rd. Okay, 20 is this one. This is the uh, 6th of April. 6th of April, you see, uh, 6th of April, this one. Okay, this is the highest point, so it broke the 20 day high, right? With high volume, so likely to continue. Okay, so this is how it goes, right? Now, if you still find that, wow, this one is too many stock, you want to you want to uh, stream down further. Now, this is price breakout, man. so if it's a downtrend, uh, you break out, you hit into resistance. So what about, we add a trend uh, indicator, trend indicator, okay? Trend indicator, we have got MACD, we have got moving average to use, okay? So let's say we use a moving average. I open up over here, moving average. I want the price to be above a certain moving average to tell me that it is going higher. Average, average, <laughs> average. I will use position of price to MA. Okay, so I just do add. Okay, so now the rules are, have to fulfill volume increase 100%, price breakout 20 day, and the price must be uptrending. Okay, so I'm going to use 21 day moving average, uh, exponential, no need. Lah. Closing price. Okay, ah, above, price is above this 21 day moving average, I say. Okay, now I screen again. Okay, then you can see uh, all these stocks are above their 21 day moving average. Can you see? Uh, now you have one red line to guide you whether to buy or not. It will eliminate all those that do not, it's not above the 20 day moving average. Okay. I don't know for stocks that I'm familiar with, like Care Plus, all these COVID play are confirmed because the trend is very strong. I know they are above their 21 day. So one tip for you is you can add this uh, moving average in one day to help you weed out all the downtrending stocks. Okay, those that are state cap bound and, and likely to go down. Or EG also very strong, right? EG or Euro, uh, that one is Euro. Okay, you see? Very high volume coming in, broke the 20 day high. Okay, diverse box. Now, if 20 day high, you think, uh, oh, uh, you want to look for 50 day high, feel free, change to 50 day. Save. Okay, and then let's see. Now, I, I usually don't like the list to be more than 20. Uh, it's very busy. So, I, I like short, short list like that. Well, 14 stock easier to choose from. Comfort. Wow. This one means like mad. <laughs> So this is the 50 day high over here. Okay, so this stock, this is the 50 day high, it fell and slowly crawl its way up. Now, you may not have comfort inside your watch list, so you may miss it. But what if you use the software on this night and you screen, and this is, uh, let's see, 16 of April. Okay, so 16 of April, I'm going to screen 16 of April to show you on comfort. Now, on this time, uh, you, you have Ambulance, Comfort, Rubberex, Scomnet, Supermax. One look, uh, you know all these are COVID play except Ambulance. Uh. Comfort, Rubberex, Scomnet a little bit, uh, or medical, uh, medical equipment, Supermax. So all these are uh, close eye pick one also make money, right? <laughs> so coincident, you know, all of them have signal on this day. Okay, Scomnet. 50 day high, broke the 50 day high. This is the point. All go down, come back up, challenge the 50 day high and broke it. Now, Supermax, Superman, we call it Superman. Today, Hatta Top Glove all pull back. This Superman still going up. It's actually playing catch up because when Top Glove and Hatta move up a lot, this fella was sleeping. Okay, so it was revenge time, catch up time. Right, so Supermax, you can see this is the alert day. Okay, it alert you that, oh, tonight, please look at Supermax. Okay, now, if you are at that night, 16th of April, you use the software, you screen this rule that you created, come out only one, two, three, four, five stocks. Five stocks. How can you miss Comfort or Supermax? How can you miss Rubber Rex? Okay, they are all here. Okay, if you, not, you do not have this, you may miss it, right? If you're unable to screen, you may miss it. So you may be looking at other stocks. Okay, and give it a miss. Okay, so this is how you do this. Now, more importantly is today, ah, last trading day today, let's see. 
what lobang do we have? Only three. GTEx, Corsan, TM. Now TM, I personally not interested, but let's take a look. Huh? Let's take a look. TM. 50 day high. Wow, bro, it's 50 day high. Oh, you like challenging more. Oh. Work from home. Ah. They say work from home, remote working, telecom can do well. Well, I, I refrain from, from talking about other better choices. Okay, so TM, so if TM is your cup of tea, you can see that there is a high volume coming in. Okay, and it's breaking, trending higher and higher and higher. Can you see you by adding one more criteria, this 20 day moving average, 21 day moving average line. All the downtrending stock all no more disappear from the list. Okay, so this is how powerful the software is. Kosan. Now Kosan got some door, still got room to go up now, right? Oh, Kosan is a COVID play, right? Rubber gloves. And GDEX. GDEX is logistic. Logistic. I happened to look at them yesterday. Okay, because of the COVID-19, a lot of people stay at home. And we, we were on conditional, I think, uh, the MCO was on conditional MCO. That means some some of us can go back to to work or, or live our life normally. Go go and buy things, but you see the number of cases uh, didn't really stay at the low. Uh, the infected cases some more got new cluster found. Wow, really is headache. Okay, so more people may continue to order food. I also found some news. Uh, two pieces of news though. Number one. Uh, it says that logistic and delivery is unable to cope with the surge in demand uh, for e-commerce. Okay, buying food, la, buying stuff. La. And then the other one is, I, I don't know whether you follow the news or not, Ninja Van. Okay, Ninja Van uh, received funding, uh, 400 over millions of funding. Okay, because they, they also saw a surge in business in deliveries. So this particular sector, in terms of COVID-19, okay, not only gloves company, uh, a medical company can buy, now suddenly logistics also surfacing news that hey, they, they are demand also surging, surging, surging. Also, we can also pay attention to this. Now, over at Singapore, uh, this is Malaysia stock, of course. So, over at Singapore, wow, tam lo, the only COVID player, Biolitics. Uh, go up and come down. Okay, go up and come down. They say they have what test kit, right? Uh, after that, even Ho Ching also published a new saying that any company worth its salt so will know that it is not possible to run, 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 run. you will read like how biodelics and the other one is called what company to uh shareholder or biolytics. I, I forgot the name. Okay, but if you are talking about logistics. Also, not a lot of choice. Uh. Maple tree, uh, the best one so far. Oh, the best one so far. Okay. So basically, my... Um, eh, tonight is not talk about trading. Ma. Tonight is talk about software. So trading, if you go refer to my training uh, videos on our YouTube channel, I talk about the process. Okay, you need to identify the, the market direction, la, the sector in play, la, the catalyst, la, huh, and then go down to stocks. Okay, so what, what I do here, usually I use a screener to screen up for stock first, then to confirm with my thesis that, oh, COVID play, I want to play technology, I want to play COVID, right? So that is how I do it. So by using a software tonight, we saw GDEX, again, we saw GDEX uh, having this high volume search, break the 20, uh, 50 day high. So let me adjust this back to 20 day, because three company only, ma. so we go 20 day, okay, and then we screen. You see more result now, 16 days. Oh, one of them, FP Group. Okay, so FP Group, my favorite. Let's take a look. Uh, FP Group, see, high volume, broke the 20-day high. So it calculate 20 days. So this is the highest point over 20 days. It broke the 20-day high. So high volume, can buy or not? Hey, tomorrow not open. Eh? Friday, you decide. Okay, Friday, you decide. Heng Yuan, usually I don't touch. Ah. Uh, oil company, I wow, don't touch, but the volume very high, also going higher, yeah? Speculative play, maybe for short-term uh, trading opportunity, if you are fast enough, maybe still bole. Okay, and then we have got G-Packet recently, price also keep going higher. Okay, you are able to find all these wonderful stocks. Let me see what, oh, FGV, all oh, the plantation stock today also go crazy. Plantation stock, FGV, JTSA, is it inside here? No, uh, Rasa also the same. All going crazy. 
Okay. Now, uh, this is for Malaysia stock law. Oh, you can see coming up. So, will we continue to go up? Ah, Friday, 大家拭目以待, huh? Friday, 大家拭目以待. TH plant also plantation stock. Today, all key sell. JTSR also the same. Oops, sorry, JTSR also the same. Okay. JTSR never break the high. Okay. So, JTSR never break the high, but volume satisfied. Therefore, it wasn't uh, alerted inside this list. Okay, so this is how we can use this to find stock. Let me screen the Singapore market because we've got Singapore participants here also. So let's see. Oh, you, you see, uh, you see. Uh, KL, we have got how many? 16 companies. Singapore, we have how many? Two companies only. Okay, so let me uh, reduce further. Maybe the, the volume I switch back to 50%. Hopefully we get more. <laughs> Still only two. Uh. So you can see how charm the Singapore market is. Uh. No volume, not a lot of stocks. You want to play COVID, also don't have. Logistic only got one. You want to play plantation, only Wilma. <laughs> okay. So CSC Global. Ah, not bad, right? For the Singapore user. If you see this chart and you think not bad, give me a like, give me a like. Come on, you have been quiet for too long. Give me a like. Fireworks of like. Hey, while you all giving me the likes, I'm actually reading the comment. I saw, I see some of you already start to ask about the, the feature. Is it payable or uh, subscriber? Later, I will share with you the, the, the plan. Uh, uh, the plan. Okay, you can actually subscribe for a very short term, three months to try it out. Okay, but later, later, business, we leave it to the last. We, we talk about the feature first. Okay, so the next stock is uh, correct. CSE Global, the chart is indeed very chante. And if you use my multi time frame analysis, go to the wiki chart and see for yourself. Is it viable or not? Based on the price action here, I got teach uh, how to read price action. So you can go to the YouTube channel and look for the video. Okay, Busa Technical Trading. Now, though I feature uh, Malaysia stock, the, the method can be used in any stock exchange. Okay, can be used in any stock exchange. All right, so Singapore only got two stock based on the last trading price today. Okay, last trading price today. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh. Fraser, forgot to click on Fraser. Wow, Fraser, look chante. Oh, nah, actually, Singapore market very simple. You you maybe need to pay attention to risk instead. Uh, those of you uh, who are from Singapore, we all know. Uh, oh, we all know. Okay, basically, Singapore only three types of stock I'm looking at banks, technology, the semiconductors, and risk. Okay, and risk. Okay. So this is the Fraser L and I trust. So you can see this is high volume. Okay. Now if you want to play straight, okay, you do not know how to identify support and resistance. You click on this button. Can you see everything come out and show you? This is the support. If you come down, where can you go? When you go up or one one two, watch out. Okay. So this is very useful. Now same for CSE Global. Right, you click on this button, it will draw the lines for you. You never click, it will not draw the line for you. You click, it will draw the line for you. Okay, now back to the Malaysia stocks. Huh? I want to show you the Malaysia one also the same. You click on the button, every chart you click, it will come up. I give it broke up all the resistance. So next resistance level for FGV 109.1.12. Now, one of the popular questions that I always receive from uh, users is where is the price target? Oh, they always have to ask where is the price target? Do click only you see oh. okay simple now one thing to note about this support resistance line uh, it can capture most of the lows and highs on the chart but it is not 100% okay the IT side we try to perfect it and learn over the years try to improve it so as we go along with continue to improve but for now it is good enough for us to use so just beware when you use it right you draw the line and you see for yourself is this a really a resistance or if it is then you can use it as a resistance okay so this is how we do it 
Brittany offers. Okay, so this is the very first uh, strategy that I want to share with you, which is breaking the 20 there. Tonight is all about talking about breakup stocks. Man. So that is the first one. The other rule, the other interesting rule that I want to share with you is breakout of resistance. Breakout of resistance. Okay, now, uh, those of you who has been with me for the last uh, 36 minutes, if you have learned a lot within the last 36 minutes and find that this system is wonderful, okay, type a yes and then a comment and show me. Blue Smurf asked me if it can screen US stocks. Of course, of course, of course. Now, US stocks, uh, later I show you a tips. Okay, US stock, I'll leave it to the last. I'll show you a tipsy, a tipsy, how to use for US stock. Because US got thousands of stocks. Okay, so you find that what you learn about a 20 day breakout is useful. Okay, give me a yes. Okay, give me a yes. Back comment. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Oh, thank you for your support. Okay, so now that is one strategy already. Let's go to the second strategy. Now breakout, ma. breakout. So the other strategy that I'm going to use is the resistant line breakout. This is something that a lot of people will be more familiar with. Okay, more familiar with resistant breakout. So how do you compose the rule? Let me use this to explain to you first. So in chart nexus, we already have this rule. It's called chart nexus about resistance. Okay, we are able to find stocks that break above resistance, break below support, or is near resistance or is near support. So in this particular rule, I'm looking for stocks that broke the resistance with high volume again. Okay, with high volume again. So I'm going to reset. I'm going to show you how to do it. So price break resistance. There you go. Add. High volume, volume increase. At now, price break resistance. Do you need to do anything here? This one we already uh, tune it to uh, look for the the best lines. So you do not need to touch anything here. Even I myself also never touch. Okay, so no need to touch anything here. Volume increase. We play around with this. Now twenty day. Today you break. With more than 50% volume, I consider you high volume breakout. Then you click save, you type the name and you save. Okay. Like all cooking show, I already has the rule made up. Huh? Just like Gordon Ramsay, I already have the rule already. So I'm not going to uh, on the spot cook and save. Huh? I just want to just use the rule and screen and show you. All right. Uh, there you go. Hey, you may see that I've got a lot of other rules. Huh? Of course, uh, I have used this software for like 16, 17 years and inside got a lot of uh, whole layout, right? But tonight, these two, uh, these two, pay attention to these two. Okay, so I'm going to screen with resistance breakout, uh, KL first, last trading day. Okay, today, uh, let's see today, start screening. Just now, I already show you how to use it to screen uh, in April to show you how it works. Uh. So now I screen the last trading day, which is two days stocks, okay? For you to get a feel of uh, how to use this. Star Moon, you are already a member. You already have this uh, software for sure. Oh. Hey, ask me, Fibonacci can also screen. Huh? Fibonacci, you can also screen. Oh, like, like selling fish. Eh? Fibonacci, yeah, there, there, there. you can also screen for Fibonacci. You know? Those of you who know TA, you want to screen for stocks uh, testing 38.2% Fibonacci support, right? There you go. Okay, very, very useful, uh, this software, I don't bluff you. Oh, right here, 12 stocks. Uh, okay, FGV. Okay, now FGV is telling you that you have already broken the resistance. This is the resistance line. Next three resistance, Satu, Dua, Tiga, price target. Okay, price target. And then you have got JTSA today also break resistance. Eh? Okay. Which resistance is broken? It broke this. So the software is telling me that this resistance is not important. This is more important. Why? Because this one is too near the last closing price. This is one logic that uh, we put in. Okay, we want to focus on the next one. We want to focus the immediate one. Right, so JTSA, those of you who has, right? This is the high C plot nicely for you, 62 cents. 
Okay, what else? Pelican last year is good. Huh? This year, not so good. Last year is very good. This year, not so good. Oh, this year, not so good. So it tell you that it broken the resistance. Now, this is one example where I will not agree with the software. It call this a resistance. Ah. My la, this one, oh, use a resistance. No, the one, the one. This one is not what I like. I, I like this one, more obvious one. Okay. And also when you study resistance and support, you need to combine with volume that makes sense. Okay? This one never combined with volume. So oh, sorry, this one doesn't show me very much at this line. So I won't use it as a, as a resistance. Okay. So this is the next level to come to. Ah, like that. Lah, more obvious. Oh, this is the one. So you can see this strategy is able to pick up for you stocks that is near that has broken out of the most recent resistance okay most recent resistance lehi ma lehi give me a like lehi give me a like i got something more important to show you okay while i share the singapore screening okay if you think that one high lady software give me a fireworks of like come on it also helped me to share it eh? huh? share it eh? you know as a as a as a what you call that as a webinar host, uh, when we see hundreds of people online, you know, we are showing to a of you, it makes us very excited and uh, glamorous. Uh, oh, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, so please don't let my 160 of you at Facebook drop to less than 100. Uh, if you see dropping quickly, help me share so that it go back up to 200, 300. Okay, uh, YouTube also the same. Uh, YouTube got 138, 36. Okay, so help me share out. Okay, help me share out. Thank you very much. Right, so Singapore, one, two, three, three stocks. See, all three stocks are not interesting. Let's see Fraser first, okay? Fraser broke this resistance, you know? This is the next one, okay? SBH, oh, broke this resistance. Ah, this one, broke this resistance. So next one is here. So very near already. So you don't want to buy, ma. too near already. So you probably, uh, if you want to trade SBH, on Friday, you watch out for this break of this resistance, this value over here, 1.63, 1.64, break with high volume, then you muscle. Okay? UG Healthcare. Ah, the next resistance is here. So this one already broke this resistance of this uh, consolidation zone. Okay? So once it breaks, you can either wait for it to tarry back to retest as a support, okay, with a view that it's going to retest the 38 cents high. Okay, or you can just buy Friday when the volume continues to chung, you know that it maybe can go to 38 cents. So this is how you use it. Okay, this is how you use it. Then the next one is, yes, I want to share with you something important, which is resistant breakout, ma, already break, then you tell me for what, right? For what? You tell me here, lah. Before it break the resistance, you tell me first. Lah. Intelligent or not? Intelligent. Do you want to find true or not? Do I make sense to you? Instead of finding the stock already break, or some of you may not have the appetite to trade this stock because you say, oh, allow it already go up. So you want something that, hey, before it break this one, I want to know. Make sense to you? Make sense say yes under comment. Okay, Chan Xiu Wing, you were asking about the stock, this result coming out for real time or after trading hours. These are all after trading hours, end of day. Okay, end of day. So end of day, you prepare your homework. Tomorrow, live trading session, you fire your trades, you execute your trades. Okay, again, my question. Huh? Okay, you have two choices now. No? One is you stream with this breakout rule. Okay, and then you find the stock here. We're going to stop here, or you want to find the stock here, right? So some of you, oh yeah, I want certainty. Break already, I believe the momentum will continue. Then you highlight to me, then I, I trade it, okay? Then I trade it. Some of you will say, the one are too high. I want it to be before it break, or before it break. So how do you do the before you break? How do you do the before you break? Okay. Instead of price break above resistance, okay, I remove. Price is near resistance. Okay, I add. Can you see? Price is near resistance. I add. Oops, forgot to save. Must click save. Me re override the rule. Oh, yes. 
stock screener. Okay, stock screener. So I am using the near resistant breakout. Ah, here you go, resistant breakout. Okay, I didn't change the rule into near resistant breakout. Ah. I, I just put resistant breakout the same rule, but inside already changed already. Yeah. Just want to make sure you, you are following me. Okay, so I'm going to screen the Singapore market first. Ah. Hey, my, 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 my. We shouldn't screen today. We should screen yesterday. Yesterday is 5th of May. Then we see whether the, the healthcare guard stock will come out. 5th of May. Well, we screen yesterday. Uh, yesterday. So that our objective is to find this stock yesterday. Today it break, then we must hold. Don't have all, but got two other stocks. Now, why don't have? Huh? Because remember, we were looking for the high volume. Okay, so on this day, you see uh, the volume doesn't meet our criteria. Man. We got we got 50% more than the average of 20 days. Don't have. Man. Oh, but we tackle this later. Since the, there's two interesting stocks over here, Delphi and Franken, let's take a look at Delphi. Okay, now can you see Delphi? Resistant line, oh, this is a very good example. Now, this is a, another type of resistance. It's called support, broken, become resistance. Support, broken, become resistance. Okay, so this is also a resistant line. The software able to pick this up, and then you can see that it is challenging the resistance now, and it pulled back with low volume today. Traders Club member will know that this is a very exciting setup. And I believe Zhong Liang has highlighted this in the communicator today, Delphi. Okay, we discussed about this stock uh, yesterday. Right? Yesterday, so he, this morning got highlight about this stock. Also, you know, this is a potential setup itself. Those of you uh, who are from Singapore and non-members, right? So this is my visa day gift to you, Delphi. Next, Franken. You can see it is near resistance. Haven't break out yet. Haven't break out yet. Nice or not, this rule, nice or not. Like, cool time. Nice, right? Okay. So this is how we can find stock before the breakout. Now, let's tackle the volume. So you cannot use uh, more than or equals to 50% already, right? So uh, probably so long you increase by 10%, 10% uh, I want to know, uh, 10%. Okay, 10%. Let's see, does it, does it have uh, more, more stocks? Or? Exciting, oh, exciting, right? Exciting, right? Okay, exciting. I see the viewer only 162. Uh, not convincing. Uh. Hey, who got go and put the angry face? Uh? Very playful, uh, very playful. Okay, I can't find, I can't find, I can't find the, the health, health, uh, health, healthcare stock. Okay, I, I need to adjust the volume to one over one. Okay, then uh, by one percent. Oh, this V is one percent, by the way. Screen until we see the stock. Then later I'll answer you one very important question. Okay, you can see this software uh, is very fluid and flexible. So you must know what you are looking for. Okay. So these two stocks, Franken and this uh, Delphi, Akan Tatang stock. Uh. Wow, still cannot get the stock. Let me see. Uh. Dai Dai also want to find the stock. No. You want to buy? Oh, I know why. Because this is a 20 cent stock. Okay, now why, why I say 20 cent stock? What has it got to do? Because 20 cent stock, uh, if, you, if you draw the percentage, this stock is 5.4% away from the resistance. Okay, 5.4% from the resistance. So you see my strategy. Less than or equals to 1% from resistance. So I'm doing them close to resistance. That means 1% away from resistance. Okay, so I'm going to change this to smaller, equals to 10% away. Because this is penny share, you see, penny share. Just a few bits movement already 5.4%. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, increase this to 10%. Okay, I save. And then I scream. Okay, later I answer you one very, uh, no, 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 I answer you. Lah. I ask you one very important question. Okay. After I done with the Singapore exchange, I will, I'll go to the Malaysia exchange to screen for last trading day. Ah, now you see more stock, right? This is UGK, right? UGK. 
okay ugk volume increase okay la, then i don't do the volume rule lor. don't do the volume rule lor. i just want to show you the arrow here if i can't show you the arrow here right tonight i i, I won't go home lah. tonight tonight we stay online all the way meeting a cheese in door at least you are Okay, Bruce uh, is screening master, we can chit chat. Huh? Bruce now is asking the difference between this and ESP master. ESP master, the rule already pre-configured for you. So no need to do a lot of things. Okay, now 85, uh, based on 5th of May. See, don't have, uh, I write my name upside down. Uh. See, uh, just now I wanted to tell you one. If I cannot screen this talk out, I write my name upside down. Call me Hua Yi, don't call me Yi Hua. Okay, but truth be told, Truth be told, you you can you cannot you cannot do this ah. Doesn't make sense, ma. What it defies stock? How do you know which one tomorrow going to break out, right? So you need to tweak this to find the best parameter of the stocks that you want to trade, lor. Okay, like I say, I don't like to see 20, 30 stock ah. The, the you no know, 10 plus stock is good enough. 10 plus stock is good enough. So now I take away the volume condition. Um, let me do maybe five percent ah, near five percent. Okay, 5%. Then if you break out, I, I buy now 5%. Resistance breakout, let's see. Yesterday, uh, 5th of May is yesterday. Uh. Still 55 stock, you know. Still too many. Too many for me. Very, I'm, I'm a very lazy trader. Uh. I want to see the... 越少越好啊. 3%, 3%. 3%, 3%. I, I suspect 3% we also have a lot. No? I may need to add back the volume rule. No. Thirty-five is okay. Thirty-five is okay. Oh, thirty-five is okay. Thirty-five AEM la. Five G play. AEM five G play. Oh, 5G play. You can see uh, this is yesterday. It tells you that resistance akan datang. Today, if you trade AEM, you make money. If you want to like contra or you want to do quick trading, uh, this one very suitable. La. You highlight the best stock. Okay, then you eyeball it the whole day. If you can afford the time and you have the character to trade uh, intraday. Eh? Okay, then you wait for the thing to break by N2, 3 big zhao. So this is uh this strategy can use it this week. Okay. Uh Brad Talk the one. Uh. Hey, this one is interesting. Ah, you see, capital R China. Uh. China already opened up, uh. all of us know, uh. right? So this stock is Akan Datang at the resistance line. Ting tong, ting tong, ting tong, you see? Okay, so if you're interested in owning the shopping center in China, okay, you believe that China will recover faster than US, right? This is one stock that uh, you want to pay attention to. Okay, then when you break this resistance 136 with superior volume, you can buy. Okay, now today never do, do they never go up? Uh? Do they come down with small candle, slower volume? Zante. Okay. Costco is 2007 and 8 his hero. La. Not, not now, la. not now. Oh, this stock is the KNM of uh Malaysia stock. Okay, Costco, I uh, see. Uh. Oh, boom. Okay, and then died, right? The chart is the same as K and M. Mm, see? Okay, so don't don't touch it. Uh, don't touch it. Waste time, waste time. CSE Global. Yesterday, yesterday, if you screen this rule, you will see that it's near the resistance. Akan datang. Okay, akan datang. Right, so this is... Uh, the resistance breaker that I modified. So now I'm going over to the Malaysia market and screen. Yesterday, 5th of May, can we see plantation stock or not? If I can see plantation stock in the list, uh, I myself, the head will bang the table now. Well, I totally never prepared to buy plantation stock. Okay? Those of you who follow me long enough, uh, members will know, lah, but those of you who are uh, non member, you know, I am semiconductor and COVID place. We'll see these two. Uh, okay, so I got 86 results. See, Malaysia, so many, just have the same rule 35 stocks in Singapore. Here got the 86 stocks. So I, I cannot go through every stock. And I also believe you also want lesser stock. 
Okay, so we better use this volume to control uh, huh? 20 day. Today is is up one percent uh, up one percent. So so that the volume is not uh, at least it filter away those uh erratic volume stock. Okay. Hey, the, my my Facebook view still stuck at 153. YouTube is more stable. 149 I'll keep increasing. Then 130, 149, 150. But my Facebook are 150, 160 only. Can you help me to share what the thing is running? Or can you help me to share? So 41 stop. Okay, 41 stop. Let's see. Ah. Oh, hang. Uh. Don't have plantation. Uh. Jakes, I know went up a lot today. Oh, yesterday. Okay, now Jake, you can see. This is what? Res support, support, broken, and there's a gap resistance over here. So it's telling you that, hey, Jake is near the resistance. Oh, Jake is near the resistance. And those of you over at Facebook, if you don't mind, help me share out the video. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ganji Puting. Okay, and let us see. Huh? If kind of know yesterday is very high volume near resistance. Okay, so today never go up. Maybe Friday, maybe Friday. You see the weekly chart is actually quite jante. Okay, with more volume coming up, unless really sway factor come in, uh, it close a shooting star. Or otherwise, if Friday can close higher, Friday can close higher or not, I think very high chance because of this candle. You can see the volume is coming in into this stock. So very likely to go higher, very likely. I'm looking for plantation stock. Upcom yesterday go up. See all these very near resistance. A lot of stock near resistance. Uh. So looks like Friday or oh, may have a pleasant surprise. Uh. We have a pleasant surprise. We need Donald Trump to shut up. Uh. Oh, we need Donald Trump to shut up. Then uh, we got chance to see breakout. So a lot of stock akan datang breakout line. A lot of stock. And I don't even see a single plantation stock here yet. Okay, so they are not near the resistance um, or either that or their price is more than 5% away. So FGV. Yeah, I think their price is more than 5% away. Okay, so therefore it is not screen up. Okay, so that is not so that it you not know, so that therefore it's not screen up. JTSA. Okay, more than 5% away from the high, therefore the resistance, uh, it could not screen up. So if I were to, if I were to make it uh, less than or equals to 10%, again, you will be able to see more stock. So depend on your own uh, attitude, okay, towards preparing for the next trading session. So the, the you play around the number, you get more and more stocks. Okay, TDM, I never follow the TDM. You see TDM. Yeah, TDM also go up. A lot of plantations stock go up. I also don't know why they go up. Perhaps China reopened the order plantations, uh, the order palm oil from uh, Malaysia. We wait for the news to confirm. Okay, so this is. Okay, I, I still can't get it out. Okay, but it's not important. Uh. Uh, more importantly is you know that you can play around with the parameter to tweak it to find the, the, the best number of stocks that you want to analyze. So everybody will have your own uh, set of number. Like for me, 10 to 20, good enough for me. So if you are hardworking and uh, you oh, want to make money, right? Or you do like, like this, this particular setting, I put how many percent? 10%. Okay, that means the price is near to resistance within 10%. You got 79 stocks. Okay, for you to slowly go through the list and find the best one. You see all the popular names are also actually inside. Like I think I saw Notion. Notion, uh, OCN Cash, la, all these are all inside. Okay, uh, Opcom also, Akan Datang, I remember the, the, the price is very near. Okay, all these are inside. So it depends on you. Okay, depend on you. How do you want the list? How long or short you want the list? Then you can tweak it and screen it. Okay, so these are the two strategies. I think 
If you compare the 20 day high as to this near resistance, I believe this near resistance, I saw more response from all of you. Looks like you are more interested in this uh, resistant breakout of this uh, near resistant loop. Well, that is akan datang lah. The stock will be akan datang easier for you, right? So right now I will take some question from the comment field. Okay, comment field. Just now uh, I'm going to scroll up and then take a look uh, of some of the questions that uh, people were asking. Okay, so Stephen Kagawa, how to find accumulation uptrend stock? Now this software can help you find uptrending stock. Okay, trending stock. Uh, let me find for you. Moving average as support and resistance. Okay, these tools are available inside the expert trader library. Moving average as support and resistance over here. But not the near resistance. Uh. The near resistance, you may need to create yourself. You have this video. I'm going to leave it on our Facebook and on YouTube. So feel free to come back and, and review the video and get the rule. Pretty simple to use. Okay, so this rule will help you screen out. Okay, let me screen out and show you how to find trending stock. Okay, trending stock. Let's say 5th of May, uh, chaos stock. Uh. So these are 98 stocks here that qualify for this uh, MA as support and resistance. Okay, so where is Muda Jaya? Eh, it should pop me the moving average one. Eh. Oh, because it's imported, so I can't find. Okay, never mind. I will create the indicator template right now and show you. Okay, so I'm going to use system defaults and turn on my moving average. Now, how to get this indicator that under charting indicator there? Huh? Okay, so moving average one, two, three, four. Okay, so I click on one of them, click edit, then I can play with the parameter 20 day. Okay, and then I have got the second one is 50 day. Okay, so looks good. Ah, you can see the stock count, right? So I have to click additional step, uh, this button. Combine expert trader output with system default. Then every stock I click, right, it will come out. So you see, this rule, if you use it in November, December, the market is trending higher at the time, you'll be able to find Muda Jaya testing the support line. Okay, now whether is it accumulation or distribution, you will have to learn to read price action. Okay, price action. So that is how we do it. And let's see any more questions. I, I finished up with the YouTube and I come over to the Facebook to take the question. Okay, library, stream US stocks, stream US stock, US stock. Okay, US stock, huh? Ah, yeah, I think I haven't downloaded the data yet, if I'm not wrong. Let me see. Do I have the data or not? Really never download the data. It will take some time to download data. Okay, so US stock, not tonight. Another time, my apologies. Another time I didn't prepare for US stocks. Okay, now let me come back to Facebook and see. How to read price action. Okay, so Valerie asked how to read price action. Okay. Uh, I have a free training video on uh, Chart Nexus YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Bursa Technical Trading Training. So you, you go there, okay, and then you go through that, that uh, video you will learn, okay? So the next question, how to use ESP Master? Now, ESP Master is a different screener. This is expert trader. ESP Master is only for members uh, and it's web-based, okay? It's web-based. It's something very uh, automated like that, like that, like that. Okay, like that. So all the strategy already preloaded. This is for members only. Okay, for members only. Okay, then you have the result on the left. Yeah, da, 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 da. Huh? Okay, so this is the ESP master web based for our members. So tonight we're talking about expert trader. You will see more ESP master in that technical analysis training when I use it to, to train uh, users how to read charts. So how do you put the resistant line on the chart when you screen? Uh, when you screen, it depends on the rule that you're using. So if you use the rule with resistance, uh, okay, the, with resistance, near resistance, when you screen it, it will come out, the lines will come out. If you never use this rule, if you use any of the rules here to screen, okay, chart access support or resistance under general, the lines will be plotted. Okay, the lines will be plotted. 
I'm going through the list. So Kenny, use the breakout rules and near reason to do back test. Okay, now this back test over here, that we have got a back test module, but um, it has got a problem. Why? Because we don't trade all the stocks in the exchange. I will only trade stocks with catalyst and reason. Okay, so although you can put the buy and sell and just screen like that, right? According to my 16 years of trading experience, I do not use pure technical to just trade the stocks. I, I don't have a high win rate with that. But the day when I started to realize this and I start to filter by following sector in play first before I apply a strategy, it worked better. Okay, those are the, those participants right here in this webinar who are Traders Club member at Malaysia Traders Club will understand. Okay, because they go through the training and we have been training together, especially March and April. You see all the lights coming out and more lights, if members more lights, so that uh, the rest of the people will know that, yeah, the, the you cannot depend purely on TA. You have to do the fundamental side as well. More lights, if members? Have or not? Members, are you there? Okay, so Fibonacci. Da, 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 da. All right, so that's all for the for the question already, yeah. Okay, stop loss. Okay, stop loss. Profit target entry. Uh, when to buy? All this uh is covered in the technical analysis training, not in this webinar. Ah, there's one from Noraza. She is asking me about how to use the end and all function. Okay, like now, uh, I'm going to set up a very complex strategy together with you a uh, complex trading strategy together with you so this is near resistance with volume increase right so you can see there's an end button here so i can see volume increase okay or i can do this uh. i go to my volume and i put oh ah pound can you see now this is something those of you who are from the engineering background like me you understand ah your end and all uh, logic logical end and all oh, logical end and all so now what i'm trying to do is i'm screening price near resistance and the bloody volume can either increase uh, or the volume can decrease okay so this is the the additional thing you can do and you want to screen for hammer pattern and uh, hammer you know, near resistance no hammer you see know, for screen for white candle or maybe in the screen for a white candle. So I go to bullish reversal. Is there a white candle here? I don't have a white candle here. Oh. Okay, let me see what can I, what is being near resistance and yet not overbought. Okay, not overbought. So I'm going to use my RSI. RSI in specified range. RSI in specified range. Okay. So let me see where do I put it and here I put at the all so I do RSI in specified range I do N okay I do N oops click only click only go to this and then click remove okay I click RSI in specified range again and it should be N ah okay now what am i looking for i'm looking for stocks that is near resistance uh which is within 10 percent from resistance and then the volume can either increase or decrease i don't care which in a way uh, you can just remove uh, these two but i just put it for the sake of putting so that you understand uh, how to use the n and the o and then my rsi okay i want it to be between 60 percent to 80 percent strength strength the stock has got strength period 14 you know, change 14 to other value also can right yes now malaysia got a lot of stock right so now after we have changed the rule let's screen 5th of may yesterday now the more criteria you put inside the rule the slower this will move and because it's a software screening, your computer speed is important. Uh, usually as a trader, I tell you, I don't save money. I buy i7, call i7, Intel call i7, or, or uh, 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 the Rydon, Rydon uh, AMD chip. Rydon or Rydon 7. Okay, don't, don't use i5. i5, I find too slow. 
Ah, screen finish already. Oh, more stock. Ah. 106 stocks. Okay, 106 stocks. So what do I need to do? I will put this to 5%. Okay, 5%. Let's try. So we want it to have RSI at the height. Okay, so I still got 73 stocks. So I want it now to be minimum 70 to 80 lor, or give it even a higher value. Now, those of you who are even more skilled in technical analysis, right? You want RSI to just cut into the limit. Uh, this is the one. Uh, or RSI just cut into 70. On the first day, cut into 70. This is the rule to use. You see, we have got all this covered. 31 stocks now, much, much lesser. So let's take a look at Astro, first one. Can you see? Your RSI is above 70% to 80%. Just going to overbought near. Okay, and the resistance is akan datang, Astro. So Friday, if Astro break this level, 101 level, 101 level with increased volume, you know that Astro has got power to break the resistance. This is how we can use this uh, expert trader this rule. Okay, right. Hey, hi, Spencer. Oh, join so late. I start at eight late. Come at nine. Okay, so um, how to use expert trader? We have got videos at the video at our YouTube channel. Okay, right here. Okay, right here. So again, go to the watch is easier because my Marketing guy has put all the watch list into all the tutorial on the expert trader into one single watch list. So if you are keen, right, you can come here and learn how to use the feature and how do you combine the strategies, the rules together. Right. Now, any more questions? Last question. Every non-member can use expert trader. Yes, non-member can use expert trader. Okay, so how do you get expert trader? Dun, 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 dun. Let me show you the link. Okay, let me grab you the link. Let me grab you the link. Okay, you can go to this link. Right, and you have a choice of subscribing to three months, six months, or one year. Okay, if you are from Singapore, it will automatically show you sing dollar. If you are Malaysia, it will show you ringgit. Okay, so this is the link for you to go and subscribe for this uh, combo. Now, this combo inside will contain the expert trader screener that I showed you just now, the financial data, okay, the support resistant uh, feature, as well as the historical data. Financial data is the fundamental, the EPF, the depth, that's how I show you, okay, and the historical data. All right, so this is the link to come. I'm going to stick it at the uh, Facebook and pin the comment up. Actually, it's found on top of the description, okay? It's found on top of the description over at YouTube right here. Okay, we can start with very low, a three month package follow if you like it. Okay, you're ready to use it longer term, then you can subscribe for longer term. Okay, so this is the oh, US market. Yeah, US market. Okay, so but um, this is the link to sign up for this expert trader. All right, so those of you who are ready to use expert trader, you can go ahead and go to the link and sign up. Now, for those of you who are interested in screening US stocks, let's do it together. Okay, I need more space. U.S. stock. I will have to download my data for U.S. stock. Select. Uh, we do Nasdaq too. How lah? Oh, Nasdaq. Nasdaq. You can see my data. Twelve of Fed. Two three months. Ah, I never screen for the U.S. market using the software because we have got the web base ah, for the members ESP master. So I never use the software. So I need some time to go and download the Nasdaq data. Okay, meanwhile, if you've got questions, you can ask me.
Peter Tay, you asked when will be the next discussion on Singapore stock. Recent talk were all Malaysia. Now, Peter, uh, we have Singapore talk on Tuesdays, Tuesdays evening. Okay, Tuesdays evening. So usually Malaysia is Thursday evening. Singapore is Tuesday evening. Okay, at our Facebook. Okay, as our Facebook, at our Facebook. Wow, I thought about US talk. I see more people watching. How come? Wow, all of you interested in US? Uh? Over at YouTube. Okay, need to wait for it to download the data. Then I show you a uh, how to screen for US stock a shortcut. Those of you who are new here, uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? And I'll follow our Facebook page so that you get alerted whenever we run a webinar like this. All right, data downloaded already, NASDAQ. So I'm going to use my expert trader, configure NASDAQ right here, okay? NASDAQ, maybe I go for $8. 3,000 will do, 3,000. 500,000, I put 1 million. Okay, 1 million. Okay, NASDAQ. So this is the price and volume configuration that you must do. Otherwise, you may not be able to screen out anything. So with the same rule, resistance breakout, let's screen NASDAQ. Okay, see ya. You see ya. I click start. You will notice that it jumped very, very slow. Okay, I'm using Intel i7 and it's still very slow. You know why? Because there are a lot of stocks in NASDAQ. So what usually I do is I will come to watch this for US market only. US market, NASDAQ, I think two, 3,000 stocks listed. Okay, so I come to watch this. I will create a watch list. I call it NASDAQ. NASDAQ. Okay, create an empty NASDAQ, right? So I come here. I use a rule called volume increase 30%. And then I screen uh, last trading day. So you run faster because this rule only got one purpose. It's showing me all the stock that has got high volume. Okay. 14 here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not last trading day. Uh, last three months. Last three months. During these three months, any stock that has got high volume, uh, I will screen it, and then you return me a long list. 487 stock. I click minimize, okay? And I click on the first one, I click Control A, select all, right click on the list, add to watch list, NASDAQ, okay? And I screen my watch list, NASDAQ. Then when I screen this rule, the resistance rule, you will find that it will move much, much faster. Can you see? Much, much faster. Can you see, Peter? Oh, sorry, not Peter. Uh, Li, Li, Li Yongshan. Okay, now you see based on last trading day, these two stocks qualify, the miss for tonight, you know, eBay, near resistance. Okay, RSI and Glue Mobile. Yesterday, long upper tail, near resistance. Okay, then tonight you can play the stock already. Look. If two is too little, right? Usually, actually, I don't use the RSI. La. So from this node, I click remove. Uh, left only near resistance. Good enough. Replace. Stock screener. Screen. Okay, seven stocks. Okay, then you can go down the list and you will see all of them are near the resistance. Hmm? Ah, this is one, one of the lines that I will not listen to the expert traders. It, it, it draw wrongly, it draw wrongly. Okay, so this one I will ignore. Exelon I will ignore. Glue just now we saw. Uh, ETF, forget it, JD.com. Wow, Alibaba's brother. Okay, 
This is why it shows here uh, is because there is a support detected at the chart and then it broke the support and retest as a resistance. Therefore, it draw this as a resistance line from the software point of view. Okay, Excel Energy and then got yeah. So the more cleaner chart tonight, if you trade this new resistance rule, is this stock, okay, ZS and eBay. Very clear. Okay, very clear Akan Tatang stock. Right, and you can also continue to tweak. Oh, this is five percent. So you enlarge six, seven, eight, then you get more and more stocks. Oh. Okay, so this is um all I have for you tonight. Our first expert trader uh focus webinar. Now I have got three types of webinar uh to serve all the users uh on the social media. Number one, Singapore stock exchange review. So that is happening on Tuesday. Thursday night is the Busa one, okay, the Busa stocks. And then Wednesday, I shall start this expert trader. Okay, so I hope uh, you have learned something from us today and I hope to see you in the next video. So if you are keen to use the expert trader, once again, this is the subscription page. You can go ahead and subscribe for the package. Activation is immediate. Okay, activation is immediate. Tomorrow is Visa Day. You can spend the whole day, read the video, learn how to use tomorrow at the webinar. Maybe you can ask me. Okay, so without further ado, thank you very much for attending. I will see you at the next video. Bye.